Hello, good morning. Welcome to the Reload 5 webinar. My name is Vanessa, Vanessa Lisek from uh, Guava. And uh, next to me is my colleague Gerd Lantinger. And uh, we will introduce uh, the news um, about Reload 5 to you today. Um, so thanks for joining and um, hope you enjoy the next um, hour of uh, Reload. Um, so, um, as I said, Vanessa Lisek, um, I'm the International Sales Manager, so I will do a bit uh, of uh, sales, uh, just a brief introduction at the beginning, and uh, then I will hand over to my colleague Gerd, who's the Technical Director here at Guava EMEA, and um, then he will um, talk a bit more about um, Reload. So um, let's get started. Um, reload, uh, just a few um, quick facts at the beginning. The webinar will be in listen-only mode, so um, you are automatically muted. But uh, if you have a question, you can, of course, just use the chat window. Or um, if, um, if you like, we can also do a discussion um, towards the end of the presentation. So if there are any questions, then we can do that. Then, um, of course, the presentation and also the recording of the webinar will be provided after the webinar, so um, you can um, get, you will have the information available later on as well. So um, let's get started with uh, Reload 5, our um, solution for business continuity in gr in group-wise environments. And um, yeah, get what does that mean and um, especially probably what everyone what everyone is waiting for, what's new in Reload 5. Yeah, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, I would like to start uh, with uh, some general Reload features and uh, then talk about uh, what's new in Reload 5. Thereafter, we'll do a short demo on the new uh, Reload 5 version and um, at the end of the presentation, Vanessa will explain our uh, bundles. So Reload offers um, different things. Um, one of the important uh, features is the um, hot backup. So it's uh, creating on the fly backups of a groupwise system. And uh, the information is uh, stored in the native groupwise format on the Reload server which means that we can uh, fire up a post office agent against uh, such a backup. And uh, this is uh, very helpful in case of a disaster. Um, so if you have a disaster, your group by server fails for some reason, then the reload server can, can take over the work of the product, productive group by server for a while. Um, we have had some um, yeah, success stories about this um, in the past. Uh, one was a uh, customer in the UK. They had um, a broken water pipe uh, somewhere uh, above the ceiling, and then the water was uh, floating through the ceiling into the server room, into the blade center, and uh, then the Groupwise server died. And then the customer who was running Reload, uh, the Reload server was not in the server room, um, and then they fired up a post office agent, so switched on disaster recovery on the reload server. And um, I think they, they've they run the post office agents for, uh, for about a week on the reload server. And in that time, the admin was able to um, yeah, set up a new, new uh, group by server. So, um, yeah, that's in fact the one click disaster recovery. That's the button the admin uh, needed to click to fire up the post office agent on the reload machine. Um, we can also recover uh, sim uh, single items for the user. This can be email items, but also um, items from the calendar or um, from the address book. So, sim single addresses or an entire address book can be restored. Uh, what Reload also offers is uh, a off-site backup. So uh, in a normal case, you will have a groupwise server and uh, a local Reload server. But um, 
for the case of a, a bigger disaster, it would be helpful to have um, a second reload server on another, on another or a different location. And um, that is supported by reload. Up to now, the scenario was mostly that the first reload server was creating backups of the on-prem uh, GUPI system. And then the remote side, also running a reload server, was uh, backing up the first reload server. And uh, later on in the presentation, we will see that this has been changed a bit in, in, in uh, reload 5. So, um, yeah, and after such a, a disaster, and if we take the example of the customer in the UK, yeah, they run on the reload server for about a week, then you have a brand new GUPI server without data. And uh, what you need to do then is run a migration. Migrate the data from the reload machine to the new production uh, GUPI server. Um, that can be started from, from the reload server. And um, this, this scenario can also be used to migrate GUPIs from one machine to another or from one uh, platform to another. And then we also have an add-on, which is called Blueprint, and with Blueprint you can uh, generate very nice uh, reports based on, um, on the backup we created. So you get uh, information about uh, the amount of data in GroupWise, uh, the size of the mailboxes, um, and um, how many items there are in, in the mailbox. So this is the uh, usual scenario. On the left side, you see a GroupWise server. Could be running on, on Linux, Windows, or NetWare. Um, and then on the right side, you have a, a reload machine. This one should be running on Linux. Um, mostly SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. And then the reload backup engine will create backups from the GroupWise server on the fly. So it's there's no need to bring down your post office. And the user, from his desktop, he can just uh, use the GoodPies client. And in case he needs to restore a single item, he can just uh, use the file open backup feature of, uh, of GoodPies. So let's talk a bit more about the disaster recovery. Um, as I said, it's just clicking on one button, and then, um, of course, Reload will not ask um, which backup would, would you like to have, because it knows, in, in the case of a disaster, you're interested in the, the latest backup available. So, no questions. You, the admin doesn't need to make any decisions. And um, so, you just click on this disaster recovery failover button. And then the reload server can host up to um, 20 post offices. So in case you have multiple post offices, this reload server can take over the work of multiple POs for a certain amount of time. So the uh, migration, I already mentioned it. Um, after um, you recreated uh, a new GroupWise server after the disaster, the, there is a, a migration wizard, and that can be used to migrate the data from the reload machine to the new uh, GroupWise server. But it can also be used to migrate the data to a new GroupWise server. So um, if you're migrating from, um, from an older piece of hardware to a new, to a brand new um, piece of hardware, that would be an option. Um, we've used it ourselves in the past. At the time, we were on uh, GroupWise 8 on NetWare. Um, yeah, it's a couple of years ago. Um, and then our GroupWise server was running on a, on a physical box. And uh, we wanted to go to um, the current version, which was um, 2012 at that time. And uh, we wanted to migrate from uh, NetWare to Linux. And uh, yeah, we've used <coughs> Reload to, to do this. We use the migration option to migrate to the new server. Um, in the case of a migration um, after or 
after a disaster and the users are running on the reload machine, we can migrate the data to the new um, group by server um, while the users are still working on the reload machine. So they are still connected with their group bus client to the reload box and um, we migrate 90% of the data to the new group by server and only for the last 10% we have to shut down the post office. Yeah, I already mentioned that, uh, that there is an add-on called Blueprint. So um, this can generate very nice reports based on your uh, backup of your group by system. So we are not um, yeah, creating any utilization on the, on the main production server. All the checks we are doing uh, to create the reports are done on the backup side. And um, then you will get nice, nice reports. It can also be very helpful in case of um, uh, an implementation of our archiving solution, uh, Retain, because then you would like to know how much uh, data you can free up if you start to delete, delete uh, data which is older than, for example, one year. So you're archiving the entire post office and then you want to clean up the post office and um, the decision could be clean up everything older than one year and by using these reports you can set the, the threshold in this example it's 90 days um, but you could just change it to 360 or 65 days and it will exactly tell you how much data uh, will be older than uh, one year and that would be the part that could be cleaned up uh, with the deletion job. So, and it's not only about email, it will also show um, exactly how many items the user has, uh, a detailed overview per user. So that was, um, in fact, the, the known, uh, probably the known features of Reload for you. Um, so now let's have a look at uh, the newer stuff. So what is new in Reload 5? So first of all, support of some um, yeah, newer versions of Groupwise, like Groupwise 2014 SR2, uh, support of the new, new OS, SUSE Enterprise, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 12. Um, then we introduced a collector uh, server model this is um, very helpful for uh, scenarios where you want to have uh, a second backup somewhere in the cloud, maybe in the data center of the reseller or in the Guava cloud. And um, the collector server module um, will still use dbcopy, uh, one of the groupwise tools, uh, which is perfect uh, to, to create backups of the, yeah, running group by system, but thereafter uh, we will do um, some synchronization from the group by server to the reload machine and also from the reload server to a second uh, reload server in the cloud and that will be done uh, by using or utilizing um, rsync. Um, yeah, and then we have linked profiles, so we have a, a backup profile it's creating backups of your post office. And then you can have a link profile, so a link to this post office profile that is uh, responsible for pushing the data from the first reload server to a second reload machine that might be in a different data center and uh, maybe even in the cloud. Um, reload 5 also requires less disk space, so we no longer um, create um, the weak directories and um, do not uh, create these um, uh, weekly packages, um, portables. Um, we just keep on going. So if you uh, specify you want to keep backups for 21 days, it will be in the same directory. And uh, that is saving us uh, quite a lot of, of disk space on the reload server. Um, maybe you remember we had a, a rule of the thumb that uh, for one week of backups, so for seven days, you, uh, you would need about 
two and a half times the size of your post office for, for one week and uh, that was for reload four now with reload five this uh, two and a half times the size of your post office will be sufficient for two weeks so double amount of, of days can be backed up um, with that size um, yeah less processing power since we do no longer uh, create the portables in the weekend uh, this is um, yeah, creating less utilization on, on the server the tape uh, backup so um, you might know that uh, reload can create on a weekly basis a tar file so it's packing the entire data um, of uh, for instance a week into one tar file that makes it easier for the backup solution uh, to take this one file and put it to tape much easier as taking the thousands of files uh, from the from the groupwise structure um, but if you have a big groupwise post office then um, the tar file can be quite big and uh, we had some yeah, requests in the past that um, it would be nice if we could uh, create uh, multiple tar files which would better fit um, on on disks and on on tapes so now we have the possibility to uh, just specify the the lot the the maximum size and then it will start to split the tar file um, there's an option called on demand uh, backup deletion so in case you run out of disk space um, in the past you always yeah, had to manually go into the file system and delete here and there some some files or um, run a deletion job but now you can directly do it from the, the, the web UI you take one or two of the oldest backups and you can just um, choose to delete them to free up some space on the reload server then there is a new feature uh, feature it's called um, freezing and unfreezing this is especially for for um, yeah, the combination with uh, retain we have some customers that uh, would like to um, archive not from the productive groupwise server but from the backup to uh, have a lower utilization on the productive server and um, for some installations which are quite big um, the archiving job from the yeah, soap enabled post office on the uh, reload box can take weeks or even months and um, if the configuration in reload is that you keep uh, the last two weeks uh, the backup would already be deleted uh, although you still wanted to archive from it and um, therefore we created the option that you can freeze a backup so just choose uh, one of the backups freeze it and uh, reload will keep this um, yeah, as long as possible um, until the admin decides it can be um, yeah, removed because we archived all the data which retain and then um, yeah we bundled the latest groupwise modules for so the latest version of groupwise 8 2012 and 2014 the inline documentation has been updated of course and um, yeah let's have a look at the um, uh, drawing over here um, on the left side uh, similar to the, the drawing you saw earlier uh, we have a groupwise post office on the left side and then a connection to a reload server which is still um, on premise and then and that is then new with uh, with reload 5 we have an, uh, a second reload server that could be yeah in the guava cloud or at a, a partner in the data center of the partner and um, since this is probably um, an internet link which is not that fast uh, it's very helpful to have this new um, new scenario where you can uh, push the data so the, the reload server in the middle he will create a backup by using db copy and then the reload server can uh, use rsync 
and push the data over the internet to the reload server in the cloud. Um, the big advantage of using rsync is that we will only uh, send over the delta, so the changes of the files, to the second reload server. So now we're at the live demo. So we'll just quickly start a browser. There he is. So this is the Reload 5 web UI. And um, yeah, what is different? So um, first of all, you can see here, this is the, just a normal profile for a group wise post office. But then we also created a push PO1 profile so it's a profile on the same reload server, but this one is responsible for pushing the data of the backup to an, an off-site reload server. And that might be yeah, in, in a data center of the partner or in the Guava cloud. So you can have um, yeah, so-called linked profiles that are uh, linked to the, pro the backup profile, so this one, and uh, which are now responsible for pushing the data through rsync, also only the deltas, to, to the cloud. So let's have a look at the um, configuration of one post office. Um, so over here we are doing a calculation of the data that needs to be uh, stored on the server. So there's a yeah, pre-calculation of the, the, the needed disk space, which is, uh, which is new. Um, if you look at uh, the backups, you probably know the option uh, from the past already um, that you can get access to all the backups. Uh, this is the list of our available backup sets which are stored on the reload server yeah, and you can just choose a backup and turn on access and the user can use file open backup from the group wise client in order to re restore one single um, item and um, I spoke about freezing a backup yeah, avoid that it's being deleted so here's a list it's the same list and we can decide okay um, this is a good backup and we would like to use this backup for retain to archive the data from this backup and um, since this is a, a huge post office uh, it might take weeks or even months and uh, then we can say okay freeze the backup so even if um, we only have two weeks of, of backups on the reload server this backup will stay there as long as needed And as soon as um, yeah, the backup is frozen, it will not be touched anymore. Uh, you will also see it in the list with uh, uh, an F behind the, the date and the, um, the day. So in this case, Sunday, November 29th, and this one is frozen. If we are done with our archiving job, we can go in here and select the same one to be unfreezed. So um, I also spoke about deleting a backup. So this is in the case of uh, yeah, if you're running out of disk space, you can use this option to select a backup. Um, of course, I would advise to take the oldest one and then delete backup now. And this will remove the backup and free up some space on the reload server. We also spoke about the 
tape backups and uh, the new option to split the tar file. So if you have a, a large post office, the tar file will also be very big. And uh, in this case, you can specify a threshold and then it will start to um, split. If I enable this one, I would start to split the tar file um, after 10 gig. And if you need to um, restore something from such a tar file, the, the reload server itself will uh, put the split files together in, into one tar. Let's go back to the home screen. Um, yeah, updating is quite easy. Um, if you go here, then there are different options. So since Reload 5 is released, you can just go here and click on um, Upgrade Now. If you want or if you're interested as a maybe as a partner to run a field test code, you can go to the Advanced Upgrade Options and upgrade, upgrade to a field test code. So for instance, the option with freeze and unfreeze, that's only available in the field test code. Um, if you want to go back, you still can go on to the option roll back the code now, and it will go back, back to the latest uh, released version. OK, um, yeah, for so far the demonstration. So now you've seen the, uh, the new features and you probably like them. Um, the question might be, how can I upgrade my existing server to Reload 5? I just showed you one of the options. Um, before you start, I would advise to um, go to the licenses guava.com page, uh, take your validation key and uh, click Next, and then it will uh, give you a new license file for the reload server. So I would do that before you start to upgrade the software. And then you have different options to run the upgrade. So the first one is go to the uh, reload console to take putty and uh, create a connection to the reload server. And then you just run or type reload u. And um, as you can see in this little screenshot, it starts to download it and uh, will apply the upgrade immediately. The second option is the one I already showed you. Through the web UI, click on Upgrade. Um, the only disadvantage of this one is you don't see the process. So you just have to wait um, until the web interface has changed. And then the third option would be go to the terminal. Uh, go to system administration and then uh, tools and then upgrade. And from there, you can also run the upgrade with the advances that you see what's going on. You can see it's downloading the packages. OK, now it's time for Vanessa to explain uh, the bundles, which are um, also related to Reload. OK, perfect. Thank you very much, Gerd. Um, yeah, I hope um, the technical part was interesting to you so far. Um, if uh, that alone is not enough, uh, I would also briefly like to remind you of the group-wise bundles that we offer. The first one would be um, the group-wise data management suite, uh, uh, suite where we combine Reload, Vertigo and Redline. And um, this means that um, you have just one maintenance that combines all three products. And um, the, um, you, you basically pay the, the maintenance for just two products. And the third one is included um, in the maintenance already. And um, our promotion um, that we have um, since uh, when, we, or when we introduced this um, the promotion will um, last until the end of December, so you just have another two or three weeks left to um, to, to do that um, because if you have at least one product or if you buy at least one product, 
then um, you will and you decide to go with the bundle maintenance you do not have to buy all the um, all the other products um, but you will get the licenses free of charge until the end of December so um, if you have reload and um, you've been um, always um, looking at Vertigo and Redline for example um, or at least one of the products then uh, this might be a good time to go for it um, and um, yeah, benefit from the um, cheaper maintenance uh, for all combined uh, for all three products. Um, same goes for um, a group-wise security uh, suite, uh, another bundle that we have, which combines Guava, Wasp, and the group uh, um, the um, mobility service for it, um, which. Um, has basically the same concept if you have one or two products and uh, you would like to and you would be interested in in the third one then you also benefit from a reduced bundle um, so um, again it's limited until the end of the year so make sure to um, take a closer look um, if there are any questions of course um, our resellers, our partners will be happy to assist and of course you can always uh, drop me a, a message as well. And um, so that's basically it from our side. Thank you very much for um, paying attention, for joining the webinar and um, we'll be um, taking any questions uh, via the chat window now. So if there's anything you would be interested then in, uh, just drop us a few lines in the chat window and we'll be happy to uh, answer them right, right, uh, right away. Thank you.